What's going on guys? So this is my first update on the um, race day group build hosted by Smoke and Joe. And this is the, the Ravel Mazda Miata MX-5, the 1992 version. And this is a, a fun kit so far. So I got, the, I got the chassis done and it goes together very well. So let's get close it up. So the engine is all done in silver, or aluminum actually. And I thought that turned out beautiful. And I, I love the blue on there. And the blue is, it's actually chrome. You know, so the, you know, it's chrome, the, you know, all that is chrome. And I just got a blue Sharpie and I just went over it and it turns out it's a very nice blue, so that's Sharpie right there, over over chrome. So that looks very nice. And you got the bottom side. Bottom side is very, you know, kept it clean. Because these race car Mazdas, or Miatas, I guess what I call them, they, uh, they actually take very good care of them. They keep the engines clean, they keep them well maintained, you know, and, you know, they race them you know, once a week. And you know, and they don't really get damaged. They're not like NASCAR, like you know, like going over 100 miles an hour. These little these little Mazdas, they're going like probably 80, 90 miles an hour. They don't really go that fast, but that's that's what makes them cool. They're just small little cars, just turning left and right. It's it's pretty damn cool. And but yeah, so. Like I said, they take very good care of these cars. Like they keep the engines clean. Take, they, they, you know, really maintain them. Make sure they're very really good running cars. Because they don't. Have, they're not like NASCAR. They don't have like fifty thousand spares. <laughs> this is their only car. They might have one spare, but you know, one one could be a practice and one could be the actual car. But so I kept it clean. Did a little black wash, so just give a little shadow and stuff. And so yeah, and only part and surprisingly, I done this. I did this whole engine by hand because <laughs> it's cold out. To bring my airbrush out, so I just paint it in Flejo aluminum. So that turns out good. And the little bracing on the tr transmission stuff. That's what these Mazas are known as. That is steel that is painted with um, Flejo steel, and that turned out pretty good. So, yeah, and the exhaust is you know aluminum. I put a bigger exhaust tip on the, and I just cut the smaller version off and just glued a bigger tube on the end, make it look bigger. And so yeah. The, very good, very nice. That goes together very well. And I got the body, and this is not its actual color. It's black for a reason because some of these Mazdas they have really good paint schemes. Some of them are just plain paint schemes, like some of them are just black, like this. But I just thought to go with a color shift color, uh, green copper. This is like a green and the an angle turns copper. I just picked this up today. I was like, eh, I'm pick it up. Because I was going to do a crazy paint scheme, but I just wanted to keep one color just because it looks cool all one color. And I was going to paint this light light blue in testers and this old can, so it didn't, it didn't really work. I was like, well, okay. So, painted that color shift. So that's pretty much about it guys. The interior is not painted yet and so that's probably just get black, I'm not sure, but chassis done and it looks better. It looks pretty darn cool. So guys, so that's my first update and I hope you guys enjoyed it and until next time, I hope to catch you guys later. Bye for now.